Hey guys, it's Coke from Math Challenge. Once again, I just wanted to thank all the 100 plus subscribers for subscribing to my channel and supporting me on my journey. I really, really appreciate it. So today's video, I wanted to reflect back on the 36 problems we have done and rank the top five problems that I thought are the most epic. Um, I will include a link for those top five videos under the video description. So please, please check it out if you haven't done so already. And also just a reminder, if you don't know already, you can get all the math problems free on my website at bridgemath.com. So please go visit that site and print the problems out before you watch my videos so you, so you can see how you did. So without further ado, let's get our pencils out, thinking cap on, seatbelts fastened, let's go for that math ride. Woo! So ranking in at number five is this awesome pyramid problem where you are putting the numbers in on the bottom in any particular order that you want and seeing how you could get the biggest number on the top. I personally have done this with my students and it creates an awesome class discussion and competition among students to see who can get the biggest number. So I highly recommend it. If you haven't checked it out already, please go ahead and try it out. Number four. This problem is so cool. This was one of the problems I did at a math conference that I attended, and even the teachers were stumped on it, high school teachers. Um, but since this is an elementary problem, no trigonometry on this one, but it uses all the knowledge of quadrilaterals that students need to know, like properties, formulas. So I think it's super rad. Please check it out if you haven't done so. And boom shakalaka, number three is this multiplication problem of the hyperhelix using numbers from one through nine. Man, uh, when I first tried this problem, it was pretty challenging myself until I figured out the trick behind it. Uh, without giving it away, go ahead and print it out and try it for yourself. Boom, boom, boom. And number two is this epic area of a square problem I found online initially. It's such a be beautifully designed problem. Um, wow. <laughs> when I first found out about the solution, I was like, oh my gosh. So please try it out. And the gold medal or the blue ribbon goes to sec this second grade problem using numbers one through eight to get all three of the sums equal. It's such an awesome problem because if you love numbers and math, this is like the problem in my opinion. And it's for all ages, starting from second grade all the way through adults. And I think it's just super brilliant. And this was the first video I've ever done on YouTube. So a lot of good memories there. Please check it out. And finally, I would love to hear from you. As a small channel, I don't get too many comments. So if you have any requests for types of problems you want to see in the future, please drop a comment on any videos. Or if you're shy about it, you can send me an email. My email is under the video description on all my videos. So I would just love to hear from you. The next challenge is another 100 subscriber special on where is the number 100. Here's the sneak peek for it, coming right up. I'll see you guys next time on Math Challenge. Thank you, bye-bye.